Hey guys, did you know that over 65% of you good people aren't subscribed to this channel? We've got everything covering Rise of New Champions here. From leaks to guides and playing online for top ranks, this channel has it all. So if you're interested in Rise of New Champions, you won't regret subscribing to this channel. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Miracle MS at your service, presenting to a new episode of Captain Spots Rise of New Champions. Arguably the most important ability for a player is tackle speed. Having players with high tackle speeds gives you control over your opponent's attacks. You limit its options to find an opening to score and frustrate him and as the match goes on, eventually you can gain control of the entire match. But how effective are tackle speed skills? Which ones are better? Well, I'm here to tell you about all of them. Just a quick heads up that I only ranked skills that boost specifically tackle speed or boost your speed stats bar only when you're defending. Which means War God's Defense and Eye of Dragon do count, but Speedster and Unshakable Mark don't count, since you can use their speed boost to attack as well. But if you want to know how much tackle speed boost you get from them, you can use this formula. For example, Unshakable Mark increases speed by 15%, so if you're using this skill on a 99 speed custom character, your tackle speed will be increased by 6%. How did I get this formula? By testing it, of course. How did I test it? I'll explain it at the end of the video. Enough chit chat, let's start ranking these bad boys. Number 11, Rapid Return. First, I would like to express my gratitude to the dev team for the very clear explanation of this skill. <clears throat> F*** you! So, here's how Rapid Return works. If you're in your opponent's side of the field, it activates. If you're in your own side of the field, it only activates if your distance to the ball is greater than your distance to the middle line. Pay very close attention to which side I'm talking about. Once activated, Rapid Return increases your tackle speed by 5%. The cost of this skill is 2. You can get this skill from Keizinho, Nakayama, and Nishio. Number 10. Chaser. This skill will always increase your tackle speed by 5% for the cost of 2. You can get this skill from Nakayama, Nishio, and Wakashimasu. Number 9. War God's Defense When there's at most one person behind you, meaning when you're literally the last defender of your team, your power and defense stats will be increased by 10%, while your speed stats will be increased by 15% for the cost of 4. If you have it on a 99 speed custom character, the tackle speed boost based on this formula will be 6%. Among the original characters, only the goalkeepers have this skill, which helps them run out of the goal faster and jump faster towards the ball, which reduces the damage they take from side shoots, but not by much. Since the speed stats is different between them, some of them get different amounts of tackle and jumping speed boost from the skill. Wakabayashi and Keizinho get 6%, while Wakashimazu, Mueller, and Osbon get 5%. You can only get War God's Defense from Wakashimazu. Get his friendship to rank C and get S in tackle 4 times to unlock this skill. Number 8. Terrifying Pursuer. Now before you guys eat me up for understanding nothing from this game, just listen to what I have to say. This 8 cause skill increases your tackle speed by 20% but only for 2 seconds and after that goes to a 10 second cooldown. And that's not the worst part, no. The worst part is that the AI makes all your players run when your team is on defense and as a result the AI wastes the 2 seconds you have to use the tackle speed. So when you do get control of your player, you can't do anything because you're stuck in the 10 second cooldown. Most of the time, you won't even get to use this skill. You can only get Terrifying Pursuer from Jean, get his friendship to rank A, and get S in tackle 9 times to unlock this skill. Number 7. Come back, kid. When you're close enough to the opponent, you'll get a 10% tackle speed boost for the cost of 3. You can only get this skill from Wakashimazu. 
Get this friendship to rank C and you'll unlock it immediately. Number 6. Eye of Dragon When you're close enough to the person you're marking and that person has the ball, your speed stats will be increased by 35% for the cost of 4. Using that formula, you'll see that Eye of Dragon increases tackle speed by 14% for a 99 speed custom character. Shoshunko gets a 13% tackle speed boost from this skill. This skill is DLC exclusive and only Shoshunko can teach it to you. Get his friendship to rank B and gets A in overall 8 times to unlock the skill. Number 5 and 4 Opportunist and Charismatic Which one is number 5 and which one is number 4 is entirely up to you. They both increase tackle speed by 15% and increase dribble speed by 10% for the cost of 4. Opportunist increases dribble speed when you're in the lead and tackle speed when you're behind, while Charismatic increases tackle speed when you're in the lead and dribble speed when you're behind. Charismatic is what I would normally pick since when you're in the lead your opponent is desperate to score and you need all the defense speed you can get, while when you're behind you're the one who's desperate to score so you need all the dribble speed you can get to find an opening and score. But at the same time you can always use opportunists on a forward which helps you counter attack easier when you're in the lead and keep the lead you have. In the end, there's no absolute ranking between these two. It varies from player to player. You can only get Charismatic from Mizuki. Get his friendship to rank A and get S in overall 9 times to unlock the skill. Opportunist is a DLC exclusive skill. You can only get it from Shoshunko. Get his friendship to rank S and just like Mizuki's Charismatic, get S in overall 9 times to unlock the skill. Number 3. Emergency Return This is the improved version of Rapid Return. Always activates when you're in your opponent's side of the field and activates when you're in your own side of the field only when you're closer to the middle line than the ball. It increases your tackle speed by 15% for the cost of 6. You can only get this skill from Wakashimasu. Get his friendship to rank B and get S in tackle 5 times to unlock this skill. Number 2. Ball Hunter This is the improved version of Chaser and the most known skill for tackle speed. It always increases your tackle speed by 15% for the cost of 6. You can get this skill from Oswan, Dirch, Hernandez, Jean and Espadas. Number 1. Insight The activating condition is the exact opposite of Rapid Return and Emergency Return. When you're in your own side of the field, this skill is always active. When you're in your opponent's side of the field, the skill only activates when your distance to the ball is greater than your distance to the middle line. Once activated, this skill will increase tackle speed for the entire team by 10% for the cost of 10. However, it can't stack. Only one person can activate this skill. Now that you know how much the speed boost for other skills are, you'll realize just how ridiculously broken Insight actually is. Considering the pattern, a 10% tackle speed boost skill that is active all the time, which is what this skill will be if Wakashimazu or Custom Character and Final Wall Formation are using it, will cost 4 per person. Even if you say giving speed to a goalkeeper is a waste, this still means that this 10 cost skill has the value of a 40 cost skill. It is ridiculous. You can only unlock this skill by getting Wakashimasu's exclusive event car on the currently running Toho Online event. After that, get his friendship to rank S and get triple S on overall once to unlock this skill for both him and your custom character. Man, Wakashmas is sure is useful in getting all these tackle speed skills. <laughs> and that's it. All tackle speed boosting skills ranked with their exact value. And for those of you who want to know how I got that golden formula, this is how. So essentially, this is how the tackle speed of a character should be calculated. The default speed that they all have when the speed stat is equal to zero. I'm calling that value X then the speed stat will affect the tackle speed by a certain factor. I will call that factor Y. So I tested two different players with two different speed stats. 
So when you have two equations and you've tested two different scenarios, you can calculate both X and Y and find everything out. This is the simplified version of that equation. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you all next time.